How do you determine if you've had a good lung shot? Let's talk about it. So when we talk about lung shots, especially on whitetail, we're talking about one of the best shots you could have, right? You have all that great surface area. Almost basically, if you take the entire rib cage, there's almost every portion of that rib cage is covered by some area of lung. Now there is a, you know, a certain structure to that lung as it comes up and goes high over the back. It actually comes up when it's inflated, even up above the spines. Because if you look at a rib cage from a whitetail, you know, you'll see that those ribs come up a little bit higher than those vertebrae. So the lungs ride very high and they also run quite low. But not all lung shots are created equal. And what I mean by that is, is you can have a good double lung hit, but that double lung hit could be high and you'll get a different result. It could be in the middle and you'll get a different result and it could be low and you'll get a different result. You could get a single lung shot and you're gonna have a totally result than any of those three. So when I say not all lung shots are created equal, what I'm trying to say is you cannot depend on just saying lung shots and then have a standard answer to how you're supposed to know and how you're supposed to track. You kind of have to look at them all individually. So the first thing that I advise is when you're in the tree stand and you've made that shot, the first thing you want to do is look. Look at the deer. How did they act? On a lung shot, they're typically going to get up and go right away. They're going to take off on you. And how did your arrow flight seem? Did you get, do you have a lighted knock? Were you able to see where it went? Do you feel confident in your shot? Were you in that zone of getting lungs? And as you determine that, was the deer broadside? Was it quartering two? Was it quartering away? Was it a hard quartering shot? These are things you have to think about when it comes to your follow-up after a lung shot. And the reason is, is because again, not all lung shots are created equal. If you get a good double lung shot, you are probably gonna find that deer very close. They're not going to go far. If you get a single lung shot, now all of a sudden you're talking about potentially having a tracking job. The deer is going to die, but it's going to go a lot farther. Another thing to consider, and this is on any shot, is also during the rut. Bucks behave differently. Doesn't matter if it's a lung shot or another shot, you could hit one very well in the lungs and it's going right back to its adrenaline filled rut crazed activity and it's going to continue chasing does and doing its thing. So you may get a little bit more distance out of a shot like that where the buck has gone a long way just based on adrenaline and activity. So you have to take all that into consideration. When you have made your shot and you're confident that you are in the lung area, it's probably a great idea to just sit back and wait 30 minutes or so in the stand. Keep a mental image of where that deer ran. Listen, did you hear anything? Did you hear crashing? Did you hear brush breaking? Did you see any trees moving down below? Kind of get a great idea of where that deer has gone and mark mentally that direction. When you do get out of the stand, the first thing you want to do is investigate that shot area. What kind of blood do you have? Is your arrow there? What does it look like? So for lung blood, we're often looking at a bright, frothy blood. Frothy is the key here. There is a difference between froth and bubbles. And the importance of that is, if you have a shoulder shot and you've greatly injured either the facing offside shoulder it doesn't matter if you've injured that shoulder as that deer is running he's sucking air into that wound and as he goes that blood is getting bubbly and as it falls to the ground it can maintain those bubbles so you may be on a tracking job where you've gone a long way and you're encouraged because you're seeing all these bubbles and it's not frothy lung blood it's just bubbles so you want to really be cautious of those situations that you're not pushing a deer that needs a longer time because you're assuming it's a lung shot so it's always best to err on the side of caution now also another thing to consider is when you are looking at the blood trail itself now we get calls weekly about people wanting to switch their broadhead because they want a broadhead that creates a better blood trail look <laughs> if you shoot a deer high in the lungs and that blood has not had a chance to pull up to those holes and come out 
you are not going to get a great blood trail. You're going to get whatever makes it there, whatever capillaries and veins are on the outside that are bleeding. You may not see a whole lot if that blood isn't able to get up there. If you've deflated both lungs, there's nothing to even help pressurize and get that blood to come up to those high holes. Now your deer's dead, but you're having a poor blood trail and you may lose hope when you don't need to. Now when you get down to the middle portion of the lungs, and especially on an angled shot, you could see a lot more blood because that second hole you got a nice angle, the blood hasn't have to pull up very high, and you're seeing a lot more sign on the ground. Very encouraging. Now the lung blood doesn't have to be frothy either. It can just be a nice bright blood and plenty of it. There's so much vascular area in there that lung shots are just a high success, great finding shot. You shouldn't have any trouble, but take your time. Don't be in a hurry. If you suspect on a quartering shot that you've only got one lung, go ahead and back out. Take your time, and when you do finally start to track, go slow, look at the signs. How much blood? Did you find a bed? Should you back out again? Take those things into consideration. The last thing you want to do is bump that deer and have to continue tracking as they go further and on adrenaline trying to get away from whatever is chasing them could get into an area that it's harder to track them to find them could be less blood could be private property now you got all these other hassles to deal with so it's best just to go slow back out take your time but when it comes to a lung hit those are great shots they should be easy tracking job Oftentimes on a good double lung, you're going to see that deer drop from the tree stand and there's no better sign than that.